We know we yeah. need this. We, we have this, to. Right? I'm sorry. Yeah, we have to do this. A follow sorry, up guys. on Donald Trump's ongoing beefs yeah. with everyone, Let's including the NFL and LeVar Ball. My apologies. I feel like we have to follow up on this. Trump tweeted about both this morning. First on LeVar Ball, who has refused to thank the president after Trump took responsibility for getting his son and two UCLA basketball teammates out of China after they were accused of shoplifting. He goes like this. It wasn't the White House. It wasn't the State Department. It wasn't Father LeVar's so-called people on the ground. I can't do that the whole way. Oh. In China, they got his son out of a long-term prison sentence. It was me. Nice. Too bad. LeVar is just a poor man's version of Don King. That's kind of wild. Burn, yeah. but without the hair. Just really do Donald Trump with hair jokes. Got nice. it. Yeah, honestly. Just think, LeVar, you could have spent the next five to ten years during Thanksgiving with your son in China, but no NBA contract to support you. But remember, LeVar, shoplifting is not a little thing. It's a really big deal, especially in China. Ungrateful fool. That's an NBC The More You Know moment there. Are you kidding me? He went on to tweet about the NFL. This is the President of the United States. The NFL is yeah. now thinking about a new idea. Yep. Keeping teams in the locker room during the national anthem next season. That's almost as bad as kneeling. When will the highly paid commissioner finally get tough and smart? This issue is killing your league. Uh... First off, this is how basically they used to do it all the time before they struck a deal with the military. There was actually a yep. financial transaction, yep. so players were out. But, oh, nine. but forever, happened, yeah. 2009, but forever, uh, teams were in the locker room during the national anthem. And I, I really, in, in terms of the LeVar, LeVar Ball stuff, I really don't. First off, before we tie a bow on the Trump thing, he's not tweeting, guys. Like, we all know this, right? We all know Donald Trump. There's no, he can't work Twitter. You know, it's like his son, no, it's Eric, him. the weird one, who started this account years ago <laughs> and it, in, in a mocking way for his old man, and it was funny, and the next thing you know is he's got 10 million president followers, and he's States, president of the United States. Million followers. Donald Trump is not tweeting this stuff. Nah, it's, it's, it's either Don Jr. or the weird brother Eric. It's one of the two. He's not, he can't, he doesn't know what character means. He doesn't tweet. He can bear, have you seen him with a smartphone in his hand? Yeah. Have you ever seen him with a smartphone? He, he doesn't, it's not him. him. So first off, it's not him. But with that said, the LeVar Ball angle to this. Dude. Did you see Darren Ravel's I tweet from earlier 13. today? $13.2 million Throw in up, ad please. revenue. So 13.2 million in estimated ad value for Big Baller brand since the feud began just last week. You know who planned that? LeVar freaking Ball. Yep. LeVar freaking Ball. LeVar Ball did it. Playing everybody on things. Happy Thanksgiving. The big Thumbs winner. up, big guy. The big I'm winner, the winner is LeVar, LeVar Ball. Ball. Good for you, LeVar. Good for you.